Okay, guys, welcome back. So, we are going to do, like, a, it's going to be like some kind of galaxy-inspired club pour type deal. Once again, you know, I have it in my head, but it's very hard to explain, so we'll just have to go with it and then hope it works out that way. Um, so this is two ounces of paint. This is a nine-ounce cup, okay? I'm not sure if you can really gauge. Yeah, so right there, give or take. All right, and then um, if you've seen any of my videos before, then you know, for, I mean for the cloud pour, then I come across the top, just a drizzle, enough to like coat the top layer of your paint. It's not a lot. These pores are primarily paint and water. And so you have your volume of paint. I would probably add 20% of water right now and then stir that up. You want it to excessively flow off your stick. When you start to stir, it looks like it's falling apart. Like you don't, it almost seems like it's not going to come back together, but it will huge problems with my joints and my hands and I have spinal stenosis on top of that so this kind of deal is extremely painful for me um, using the larger popsicle sticks does help a little bit um, I was looking into some frothers and I don't know which route I'm gonna go yet but that's still very thick so we're gonna add probably another five percent water when I say probably you know I'm guessing this, these are all guesstimates, okay? There's really no wrong way to do this. You just have to really learn your consistency. And when you watch other videos or people doing this, you know, watch their paint run off the stick and watch the bottom of the cup so you can see exactly what it looks like. I'll try to come closer for you. Let me make sure you're in focus. And then, so you see how that's just going and going and going and going? That's what you want. Okay, when, I don't know if you can see the cup, but when you look at the cup, how it's making a mound like that, that's still a little thick, but I'm going to add maybe like a two, like 2% 2 water. We are there. So, and that's, that's all there is to it. You know, with the, with the white satin enamel, all I do is, you know, I'll have my paint in my cup and... However high it is, if it's like two ounces of paint, then I'll use my popsicle, a, a medium-sized popsicle stick of this size, and I'll just scoop into the satin enamel right to about here, and flick it off my stick into the cup, and then I'll do it again. And that's it. It's just like two scoops of the enamel to the two ounces of paint. So, all right, let's get started.
All right, so we're totally dry. We got a couple good things going on, you guys. So that completes part one of this piece. Now, part two, I need your help with this, if you don't mind. If you can let me know in the comments what you think I should do. Uh, I poured the planet, as you guys had seen, and my, well, my light source will be coming from that direction. So any of you who have seen, like, spray paint art and things like that, you know that I can make the outer perimeter of the, of the planet glow, and I, it just so happens that I have a gold that is very close to this. So, um, I know this stands out like a sore thumb here, so what I'll, what my boyfriend suggested that I do is cut it to fit this edge right here. So it basically looks like this is sunk down into the hole. And then I know there's an edge here and an edge here, and I can soften that with black spray paint. And uh, so if you see, I've already been practicing over here uh, how that kind of glows around the circle. So I would do something very similar to this right here. Okay. So the second thing is, once a month, I'm going to give away one of my digital prints. And if you're selected, you have to subscribe. So I hope you'll consider subscribing, especially if you like my videos. But all of my subscribers will be put into a random drawing. And then I will send you a digital, digital print on canvas of your choice for subscribing and supporting me. So, um... I hope you'll leave me a comment and advise me what you think I should do next. And thank you for watching. We'll see you next time.